Hey, hey, hey guys, how's it going? It's Jamie, your crafty DIY guy. I am back and I have got my first uh, trash miss haul revamp for you. So if you saw the video that I posted a couple days ago where um, we celebrate trash miss in our neighborhood, you saw that I got some really cool stuff, including a really sweet little round table. So that's the first project that I tackled um, over the weekend. All right, guys, here it is. All right, you guys, the first thing I did was take the table base and the table top and just separate them uh, so I could get them ready for a deep cleaning. I used this awesome orange cleaner that I purchased at Dollar Tree um, <laughs> several months ago. And I just uh, cleaned the top and the sides and really all areas of the table itself with this cleaner. I figured it had been sitting in the garage for a while and it might as well use a nice uh, cleaning. I did that same process again on the base once again kind of working into all the little nooks and crannies of the table and making sure that everything was really wiped down and also uh, very clean and i love the way this stuff smells then i took my rust-oleum chalk paint and did two coats of chalk paint on the table base as well as the table top i did not film the table base but i think you can see here what i did and uh, chalk painting is very easy then I took some coffee that was freshly brewed and poured it on top of some sheet music that I printed from the internet. And I will link that uh, printable site below. They had a good selection of some free stuff as well as some pay stuff. So just depending on the song. Then I took the sheets and believe it or not, yes, I put them in the dryer. And I only did it for a few seconds and let them just kind of get this wrinkly color and they worked out perfectly. Um, then I started to decoupage everything on top of the tabletop. It was important to me to use full sheets of music because I wanted the table to kind of look like somebody had just placed a bunch of sheet music on top of it. And then after I did that, um, I just kind of filled in. There were a couple areas that I didn't overlap properly. And so I cut some sheet music and kind of made it overlap just a little bit on some of those corners. And then again, just kind of went in and, and just kind of applied it into some of those empty spaces. And uh, I really love the way that's turned out. I love the coffee staining. You can kind of see it's kind of an, an off-white color. And uh, I'm really happy with the way that this is turning out, especially for my first decoupage project. It's, it's definitely not perfect, but it's pretty damn close. <laughs> All right, so this is what it looks like uh, before it has dried. You can see definitely some little bubbles and stuff, but again, I don't hate it. And then for the table base itself, I wanted this to um, kind of blend a little bit better with that ivory color. So I was able to take, there's Otis. I was able to take some of my Waverly uh, wax and it was kind of an ecru wax or like an off-white wax. And I just really just kind of spread that all over the base itself. And it actually turned out really well. I was super happy with it. And then I went ahead and just took what was residual and kind of left over on my rag and just wiped it over the top of this. That way everything had a nice kind of nice uh, kind of uh, ecru off-white color. And then I set it up in the bedroom to dry. And I really love the way this sweet little table looks in my guest bedroom. I thought, oh, look, there's my finger. I thought that this was the perfect setup in the guest bedroom. And uh, I really love the way this looks. And then uh, this is just so you can see what the table looks like without the lamp or without the flowers. Again, um, this was just a song that was super special to me. And I really, really like the way this looks. And I made sure to keep one of the pages of the first page of the song on the table itself so you could see that. All right, guys, my first kind of a garage haul flip. What'd you think? If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and definitely remember to subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much, everybody, and take care. Bye-bye.